Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry. Today's question comes from Mark. And Mark asks, what is barcoding and how is it useful in flow cytometry? Well, Mark, that's a great question. The idea is, if I have multiple samples, say, that I'm going to stain with the same panel, say sample 1, 2, 3, and 4, if I label each of those samples with the same fluorochrome at different concentrations, I can then mix them together, and if I run them on the flow cytometer, based upon the concentration, I can tell you which population it came from. Now, once I've mixed them together, I can stain them together at the same time with the same reagents, so all the cells are exposed to the same reagents, the same concentration, the same processing, so I eliminate the processing handling step that might cause differences in the data variations of data because of that, because they're all being held together at the same time. Where this becomes really cool is if you go and do mass cytometry. You can get a kit and you can do up to 20 barcodes. So you can take 20 different samples, mix them all together, stain them with the same antibody cocktail mix, eliminate that problem due to handling. You're only handling one tube now after you've done the barcoding. And, you know, the barcoding is a very quick step, but then your downstream processing is much longer. But you've only got one tube now. You wrote them on the CYTOF in this case. You deconvolute the data. Now you've got 20 samples through 30 parameters of CYTOF measurements or more. And think of the, the amount of data you can get and how you've improved the quality of data by having everything exposed and eliminating the processing step. So that's what barcoding is. So thanks for that question, and thanks for listening to another edition of Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to get your best practices information right here from your friends in Flow, Tim and Team Excite.